Good morning today on Play to Win. Which top 10 team will fall today? Are the dogs ahead of everybody else in college football? And will Sunday be the day for Arthur Smith to finally get his first win? We'll answer all those questions and more coming up next on the fastest 30 minutes in television, football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by Motlick Injury Attorneys. Our attorneys know what it takes to win. AT&T and Beaver Toyota. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Edge Schechter, college and SEC football expert Chris Marler, Falcons All-Pro wide receiver Terrence Mathis, and your host, Nikki Williams. Today's hometown team report is being brought to you by Montlick Injury Attorneys. Our attorneys know what it takes to win. Good morning, Atlanta. Our hometown team report is brought to you by Motlick Injury Attorneys. Welcome back. Crew in the house, Bob Whitfield, Chuck Smith, Terrence Mathis, everybody else joining us here in just a little bit. The Atlanta Falcons are headed to New York. Bob, what do you think it's going to take for the Falcons to get a win? Yo, I'll tell you like this. If they're going to use that dirty bird moniker, they got to play like some real dirty birds because they've been doing some pigeon football out there. And it all starts with the head coach saying, it's him, it's on him. Well, we thought we were getting that Titan style of football, smash mouth going downhill, big time rusher that we know the dirty bird to be. But hey, I'm just saying, I'm not the coach. But I know Coach really has something to say because he has to get this win in New York. You don't want to be in this spot, but we are. It's a reality. We got 15 more to go. We got to we got to get prepare ourselves to go up there and go win a football game. And we need to do it. They're, they're probably saying the same thing up in New York or New Jersey today. And so we know it's going to be a challenge. Go on the road. It'll be a tough football game. There'll be sound. It's a good scheme. So we know we got a work cut out for us. That sound bite, that sounded like a coach that was a little nervous, unsure of what he wants to do. At the end of the day, here's two 0-2 teams whatsoever. He's going to New York, a hostile environment. You got Daniel Jones. If you're going to beat these Giants, you got to stop Daniel Jones from making big plays with his feet. And if you do that, you have an opportunity to win. Now, look, they should have won and had some touchdowns dropped. I'm talking about the Giants. Now, on the Falcons' end of it all, they're <laughs> – they were really close this past week against the Buccaneers. But in the third and fourth quarter, some mental errors and some critical play calls at the end there that cost them. I've been there. You guys have been there. We've been on teams that started 0-2. When you go on the road, the first thing they're going to have to do is weather the storm. And that being the Giants fans, because this team is hungry. You're going to be now in an environment that has full capacity, Nikki. And listen. When this Falcon team comes up there, they're going to have to run the ball, establish the run. I also like some of the quick passes they did. You know, they had a lot of receivers early getting some nice plays in. So to me, this Falcons team, you got to weather the storm and you got to make plays and you cannot get behind early as they did in Tampa. Chuck with the gospel and more on the Atlanta Falcons coming up a little later in the show. Right now, switching gears over to college. Let's take a look at that AP top 10 poll. Bob, looking at this, who do you think has the best chance to lose in week four? Look, I'm flipping the coins around here. I don't know which team's gonna do it, which one's gonna show up. But I give North Carolina State a little chance at Clemson. But really, really what I'm looking at is no one's probably gonna lose, and especially not Georgia against Vanderbilt. Well, I would say West Virginia, Virginia Tech, West Virginia, you know, uh, big win last week versus Virginia Tech, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But if there's anyone up there, that might be one. Oklahoma has shown the, the sometimes they play high and sometimes they play low. Well, we know Florida looked real good last week. Guys, stick with us when we come back. We're going to break it down and see are they as good as they appeared. It's all coming up next on Football's Play to Win. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law, and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. 
That's pound 946. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 2.99% APR for 72 months on all Tahoe models. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. Here we go. And we go up. You're the proud owner of the fastest growing gym in town. And your online classes are a big reason why. But if slow upload speeds end up straining your growth because your business has cable. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on? Just remember. If you hear me, put your kettlebells down. You're not a bad gym owner. You just need better internet. AT&T Business Fiber delivers 25 times faster upload speeds than cable to help keep your business growing. Okay. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-844-641-FAST. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue, anything but Basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Today's SEC and ACC report is being brought to you by your Southeastern Nissan dealer. Welcome back. Our SEC ACC report is brought to you by Greater Atlanta Nissan. Welcome back in Chris Marler. And I know that you're going to love this because we're going to start off right here with Florida Bama. Are they really, is Florida as good as they looked against Bama? Okay, well, first off, I want to say happy 45th birthday to Nikki, our host. As you had, so you had a big beat in this right. week. Yep. Okay. Um, listen, so it can be both. I think I've seen this all week from Bama fans and Florida fans about how Bama's obviously not good. Uh, Florida is it's obviously should be a top 10, maybe top five team. They might challenge in the East. It can be both. I think Bama looks pretty bad. They had, they had a lot of holes that uh, and, and areas of concern. Florida played really, really well, and you have to give all the credit in the world to them. They, they should have won that game, um, to be 100% honest. If they had a field goal kicker, and as an Alabama fan, I can't believe I'm saying that about a different team, but if they had a field goal kicker, they probably would have won that game. Chuck, you think the Vols have a chance to win tonight? Do I think they got a chance? Nikki, we're a proud university. We've got national championships. We got SEC championships. We got Josh Heupel. <laughs> hey, y'all wrong for that. Yeah, go go big on. That's all I'm saying is y'all watch out for the big upset. Watch out. Well, we're watching out for it. In the meantime, Chris, number seven, Texas A&M at number 16, Arkansas and Arlington. What's the key to this game? Who do you think wins? Okay, first off, I just want to tell you, Chuck, they ought to play that damn Tennessee-Florida oh. game in a skating rink because it ain't been relevant since the 90s just like that. <laughs> Moving forward, A&M, Arkansas. Um, I, I, I think A&M... A&M is a team that's it's been kind of up and down. They, it's been kind of hard to tell if they're going to live up to their expectations, the preseason expectations coming into the season. Um, they were viewed as a team that's going to challenge Bama. I don't know if that's still true. Arkansas has looked really good. And, and bottom line, I'll just say this, and we're going to get with Jeffrey the Ed Schechter later, but Arkansas head coach Sam Pittman is 10-3 and three against the spread. They're a five-and-a-half point underdog. I kind of like Arkansas. Bob, oh, what do you yeah, think? yeah, you should like Arkansas. Because it's a big man holding it down up for it because Sam Pittman has got it anchors in with that offensive line, and he likes to see those guys move guys up front. And they got a quarterback, a running back, and they might give a and a challenge, but I don't know if they can pull it out. All right, let's send it over to our college football showdown. Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Notre Dame, Wisconsin, does the luck of the Irish run out, Chris? I, do they still have luck? They, they, are they doing well? I haven't even paid attention to Notre Dame this year. You might have to ask Bob about that one. Um, I don't know. I don't talk about football north of the Mason-Dixon line. I'm, I'll just default to, to, to Bob on this. Well, I'll talk about it, and it's not going to be Kyle Hamilton, no, you will. Chuck, but it's going to be a game, and I hate to sound creepy, of the tight ends because both teams utilize their tight end positions as pure weapons. Notre Dame's got great tight ends. Wisconsin uses three tight ends. So it's going to be a game of that TE position 
and how they use them in, in play action passes and in run blocks. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, guys. We're going to keep it moving, and we're going to talk some Georgia Bulldog football. Are the dogs really on top? We'll break it down next on Football's Play to Win. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue, anything but Basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. We break a sweat to get you feeling comfortable. Our commitment is what makes us reliable. Heating, cooling, hot water, plumbing, and electrical. Our results make us always reliable. Any size AC system, just $69.99 a month. The next generation of hair transplant procedures is here. Exacto Pro is a revolutionary procedure that takes hair transplants to a completely new level. Hair Restoration Specialist of Atlanta is the only hair transplant clinic that offers this new hair technology. The next 10 clients during the month of September will also receive $1,000 off this new procedure and $2,000 in additional savings. We are the top choice in hair restoration, so call us today to book your procedure and let's get you back to the hair you deserve and love. You just want to meet your new niece. Here she is. But if slow upload speeds were to freeze your face and you accidentally snub a newborn, Nothing is ever good enough for you. Just remember, you're not a bad sister. This is going to be a problem. You just need better internet. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience with 25 times faster upload speeds than cable. Get AT&T Fiber. Plan starting at $35 a month for a year. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Goodbye and the spam calls. Hello to a phone plan with built-in spam blocking. Farewell unsafe networks. Hello built-in VPN. Hello Google Fi, a phone plan that can. Today's University of Georgia report is being brought to you by Beaver Toyota. We're here to wow ya. Welcome back. Our dog report is brought to you by Beaver Toyota. Chris, UGA going to Vandy. I think it should be a cruise for the dogs. But, I mean, what do you want to see from the Bulldogs today? You know, no, I mean, nothing. Do they need to play this game? No. At all? Like, maybe no injuries? Maybe, like, maybe maybe at halftime they all get orange slices and Capri Suns or some stuff. I, because, like, like, there's no point in playing this game. Georgia's going to roll. Vanderbilt is real bad. I mean, real, they're so bad they lost to a Pac-12 team last week, okay? And don't even ask Bob about that, but it's, <laughs> it's what happened. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the way this whole season is playing out, it, it, it's a collision course between Georgia and Bama. They're going to beat Florida. They're going to beat everyone else on their schedule. And so for the next eight weeks, it, Georgia fans and Georgia in general is just going to sound like a needy girlfriend just constantly asking for, you know, validation. Are we good? Are you promised we're good? Yeah, you guys are really good. We get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they, I mean, they're going to beat uh, Vandy. I got to see Vandy up close. They're horrible. But outside the stadium, they got a nice <laughs> band. They got good food. They got – so the Georgia fans, they make the trip. Y'all going to have a great time. You know, my thoughts are this real quick, is that I, I really do feel bad for teams like Vandy because it's never going to be enough. You know what I mean? Just from the academic mm -hmm. standpoint. But, you know, as a former coach in the SEC, I understand how Georgia loves this. You get to get your backup some work, your backup quarterback, your number three quarterback, you get your running backs. So this is really, it's really like a glorified practice for a team like Georgia. But if you're Kirby, hey man, I'm taking it every time, get this work in. So looking at Georgia's next five games, Chris, do you think that Georgia stays undefeated through November? Yeah, yeah. And also, one more thing about this Vanderbilt game, people forget about. Yeah, what? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, of course. So, um, but one more thing. If this is a basketball schedule, maybe not. If it's a football schedule, they're going to be fine. One more thing about the Vanderbilt thing people forget about. This is a revenge game. So, Vanderbilt canceled that game last season in Athens, which was a which was the senior day and the ho last home football game for those players uh, that, mm. you know, from Georgia last year. So, I wonder how much Kirby's going to put it on. Because you know they could put up 100. You know damn well they could put up 100. They might do it today. They might do it by the half. I do it. I do it. I'm putting it up. Put the pedal to the metal, Kirby. Get, put the pedal to the metal, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, stick with us. We're going to put the pedal to the metal on the Atlanta Falcons. What do they need to do to beat the Ugh. Giants? Stick with us. We'll be Quit. back on Football's Play to Win. 
Today's show is being brought to you by your Atlanta Nissan dealers. This is It Barbecue and Atlanta Peach Movers. You want trucks? We got trucks. Linda Beaver here with an exciting announcement. Your pre-owned truck center is now open at Beaver Toyota. Seriously, whatever you want. Toyota, Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge, we got them all. And they're all on sale. There's never been a better time for you to get the truck and the price of your dreams. Oh, and for a limited time, the vehicles may be purchased with zero down and no payments for three months. Your pre-owned truck center is now open. Visit us at beavertoyotacoming.com. We're here to wow you. This is it. This is it, Barbecue and Seafood brings back its best value. Two for 32, one for Saturday and one for Sunday. Two dinners, two desserts, two drinks, all for just $32. Yeah. Now order online at thisisitbbq.com. Opening soon, Union City. It's still the rib tips. We get uncomfortable to restore your comfort. Our commitment is what makes us reliable. Heating, cooling, hot water, plumbing, and electrical. Our results make us always reliable. Only $19.99 a month for a new water heater. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. 2021 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and great taste when it comes to college teams. Game day and beyond rep your Georgia Bulldogs with an official Team Big Bow Box. Today's Atlanta Falcons report is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, buy new roads. Welcome back. Our Falcons report is brought to you by Georgia Drive Chevy. Terrence Mathis in the house to break down what's going on with the Atlanta Falcons. Gee. What's your, I know, what's your biggest concern with the Falcons offense? Do you think it can be fixed? There's a couple of things. First of all, they don't have a receiver that can take the top off the defense. There's no deep balls being thrown in this offense. And secondly, offensive line got to stop making these mental errors whatsoever. I mean, they're sliding the wrong way to the wrong people. And, and here it is in this passing game. There's no sophistication to this pass game. There's dinks and dunks. What Tampa Bay did to them, the league is going to figure out. We can't get to you, so we're going to push the pocket and get your hands up because you're not throwing the balls outside the numbers. So you're throwing it in five, seven yards deep inside the numbers. We can get to those balls. So this offense got to be more creative and throw the ball downfield, and they got to get solid in the middle of that offensive line. You make a good point, Terrence. I, but I also think I'd like to see Mike Davis – you know, feature him more. And Cornerell Patterson, listen, he was fantastic in the game. They got a two-head monster. i like to see the Falcons try to run the ball more and, you know, take a little pressure off of Matt Ryan because Matt sat in the pocket, got beat up pretty good. But, you know, to me, the, the, the way for the Falcons to have success, particularly against the Giants, run through the middle. Well, you talking run through the middle, run through the middle. Don't get run on. I'm the big offensive line about to talk defense because that Atlanta Falcons front, they got to – Respect that read option. Danny Dimes up in New York, he is pulling that ball from that running back and he's cutting out the back door and you got to have some chase. But he can also run that RPO and sizzle it down. And Galladay is trying to get his manhood back and trying to make some plays. So Galladay, all that, Evan Ingram's back, they got to stop the defense, got to make some plays so the offense don't have to carry that team. Terrence, looking specifically at Falcons, at Giants, do you think that this is, finally where Arthur Smith gets a win? Well, here's the thing. Um, they got to have a fast start. You know, once they woke up in the after the first quarter against Tampa Bay, they played extremely well. They have to start fast and stay aggressive and, do, and, and be solid. I don't know if they get their first win, but they're trending in the right direction of playing better each week. 
And you won't believe this. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about which 0-2 NFL team is still guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. Stick with us. We'll be right back on Play to Win. Just think, he'll be driving for real soon. Every new Chevy Equinox comes standard with Chevy Safety Assist. Find new peace of mind. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get interest-free financing for 72 months on most 2021 Equinox models. Or get $3,000 cash allowance. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. Recognized as a top-rated law firm for professional excellence in legal expertise, communication skills, and highest ethical standards. We are Montlick Injury Attorneys, and we know what it takes to win. Peace out, leaving home just to change my phone plan. Hello, switching from my sofa. Goodbye, everything you can. Hello, Google Fi, a phone plan that can. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. 2021 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Today's NFL report is being brought to you by Reliable Heating and Air, servicing Atlanta's heating and air conditioning needs for over 40 years. Welcome back. Our NFL report is brought to you by Reliable Heating and Air. Big game coming up. Tampa Bay at LA Rams. Terrence, do you think the Rams have the defense to beat the Bucs? Yes, for sure. They got that man-child push in the middle right there. They got a shutdown corner. I think they match up well with every position in that it, in the, on the perimeter that Tampa Bay has. I think they have a great chance of beating this Tampa Bay team. Think they can do it, Chuck? Oh, yeah, most definitely. But I think, you know, Tampa Bay is special. They brought back all 22 starters. They're veterans. They're, they got leadership all across the board. So me personally, if I'm picking the game straight up, I'm going with Tampa Bay on the road beating the Rams. I understand Aaron Donald. I love him. He's a beast. But I think the complete team in Tampa right now is a little bit better than what you got in L.A. And it's a number game, right? I mean, some of the teams that are in the NFL are 0-2, but they're still possible shoe-ins for the playoffs. Bob, which teams do you think might be shoe-ins for the playoffs, even though they're 0-2? Look, I'm only worried about my fantasy football lineup that Chuck happened to beat me in last week, so I'm a little disappointed. However, but some of those 0-2 teams are going to play better this week, and two of my favorite, Atlanta and New York Giants, one of them not be victorious because we don't want to see a tie. But my my guess would be Minnesota. I'm looking at Minnesota. They got the elements of the run, the pass, the strong running back. Uh, I don't like Kirk Cousins, all that favorite in playoffs. But in regular season, Minnesota can maybe show up and win the division. Hmm. Go he, figure. Terrence, is he leaving? No is he leaving anybody out? Well, he picked three of the seven that's 0-2, so there's not many to choose from. <laughs> if, if there's any <laughs> team that might have an opportunity, it's the Colts. They're playing in the AFC South. Tennessee is down. The Houston is, is, is probably not going to be there at the end of the day, and Jacksonville has some growing to do. So it would be the Colts. If Carson Wentz gets healthy and stays healthy, they have a chance to win, win their division. And it is a numbers game, guys. Stick with us. Speaking of those numbers, we'll have Jeffrey the Ed Schechter and his picks for the week. You don't admit that. We'll be right back on Play to Win. We had a home warranty. And over the years, probably close to 80% of our problems came from heating and air situations. We had a major uh, breakdown. So when we called the home warranty uh, company, we had to come out of pocket $1,700. We came across Reliable. One of the technicians explained to us there was a program to help 
change over the units. They would maintain the units for the life of the unit. It was a no-brainer for us. Get any size air conditioner for only $69.99 a month. There's never been a better time for you to get the truck and the price of your dreams. Oh, and for a limited time, the vehicles may be purchased with zero down and no payments for three months. Your pre-owned truck center is now open. Visit us at beavertoyotacoming.com. We're here to wow you. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm gonna give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and great taste when it comes to college teams. Game day and beyond, rep your Georgia Bulldogs with an official Team Big Bow Box. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law, and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Today's college and NFL predictions is being brought to you by This Is It Barbecue. And welcome back. Our college and NFL predictions are brought to you by This Is It Barbecue. Welcome back, Jeffrey the Ed. Schechter, you have kept us in suspense the entire show. Take us through the picks we've been waiting for. Well, it's good to be here in the colleges. Wisconsin is a six and a half point favorite over Notre Dame. I think that's a bit of a gift. Notre Dame has much more speed. I like Notre Dame with the points. Missouri's going up to Boston College. Missouri's a one and a half point favorite. Boston College has a very good defense and they're very good at home. Take the one and a half with the home door of Boston College. And a great game, the game of the day, Texas A&M and Arkansas played on a neutral field in Dallas. I think Arkansas is going to surprise A&M and beat them. In the pros, I'm still stuck on the Chargers. They were on the goal line the whole game the other day, and they still lost to Dallas. I think they'll cover six and a half against Kansas City. Seattle's defense is a little weak. Minnesota's lost two tough games on the road. They're coming home. I, I think Minnesota will beat Seattle. Take the one and a half. And then the Tampa Bay and the Rams. The Rams are one and a half point favorite. These are the two best teams in the NFC. The Rams beat them last year, and they'll beat them again this year. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, Jeffrey. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another week of football's play to win. A lot of exciting games on deck. We can't wait to hear your thoughts. As always, the conversation continues online. Until next week, we will see you all Saturday, 9 a.m. Be safe out there. Today's show has been brought to you by Reliable Heating and Air, Bojangles, and your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet. Find new roads.